In this video, we will solve the system of linear equations given here, 0.2x minus 0.4y equals negative 2.2, and the second equation, 0.8x plus 0.6y equals 8.8. .8. Now, because there are decimal coefficients, it would be easy to or e make things easier if we clear all the decimals. So we're going to just examine the first equation and note that to get integer coefficients, if we moved each decimal, the decimal on each term's coefficient to the right by one move, that we would have all integer coefficients. So if we just multiply this entire equation by 10 to the power of 1, we'll have the resulting equivalent equation of 2x minus 4y equals negative 22. Looking at the second equation, we notice that also the decimals all of all the terms need to move one place. Now you always go with however the most number of moves needed, and that would be the t power of 10 that you would multiply by here. Here again, we need a power of 1 on the 10, and it gets distributed to all the terms to give us the resulting equivalent equation of 8x plus 6y equals 88. Now we have a new system of equations that is equivalent to the first one, but with all integer coefficients. And if we use the elimination method, also sometimes called the addition method, that would mean that we were going to alter one of these equations, or sometimes you need to alter both of them by multiplying something that would cause one of the variable terms to cancel out when you add the two equations together. So notice that if we multiply the top equation by negative 4, then we'll get a resulting equivalent equation of negative 8x plus 16y equals 88. Copying down the other equation, the second equation, 8x plus 6y equals 88, and then adding them together, we're going to get a new single equation that only has y in it because when you co uh, combine the negative 8x with the positive 8x, you get 0x, and then you have positive 16y plus 6 more y's will give you 22y. And then adding your 88 and 88 together, you'll have 176. Now to solve for y, all we need to do is divide both sides of this equation by 22. And when we do so, we get the result of y equals 176 divided by 22 gives us y equals 8. Now that's one part of a two coordinate point solution that we need where these two lines would intersect. So, so far the solution to our problem is going to be a single point, the cross, and we don't have the x value yet, but we do have the y value, the y coordinate of 8. So now we can come back to any of the earlier equations that still include x and substitute 8 for y and solve for x. So let's just pick one of these. Let's pick, how about this one right here? 2x minus 4y equals negative 22. And we'll remove the y and replace it with 8 and figure out what the x value is now. So we have 2x minus 32 equals negative 22 when we simplify. Then we're going to add 32 to both sides. We're just going to solve for x using inverse operations. This zeroes out here. And then we have 2x equals 10. And dividing both sides by 5, uh, I'm sorry, dividing both sides by 2, I meant to say, we will get x equals 5. 
and then you just want to plug both the x coordinate and the y coordinate into each of the equations to make sure that they are both true with those coordinates.